I never know how to start these. I got a new computer. So I recently read a story called Letter to a Young Lady in Paris by Julio Cortazar. And I'm sorry, did I say story? Cause it's actually more of a drug trip. The story starts out pretty normal. Just a normal dude writing a letter to his normal girlfriend, Andrea. She's recently asked him to move in with her, but he is not so sure about that. He's all, but Andrea, your apartment is so neat and tidy and I'm just a big giant accident waiting to happen. To move your knickknacks to make room for one's giant stack of dictionaries would be a crime against nature. To move your coffee mug would be as if all of the strings in an orchestra just snapped at the same time in a, in a Mozart symphony. I know I write like a pretentious prick in my letters, so it may seem like I'm a perfect gentleman, but trust me, I'm not a walk in the park to live with. You see, Mr. Narrator here has some health issues. It seems that for seemingly no reason, he pukes up bunny rabbits. Every now and then, I puke up a bunny. It's not really a big deal. My doctor thinks it's because I have too much fiber in my diet, but really, it's not something that you should hold against me. Yes, so. The narrator's been living with her for a while now, and somehow he's managed to hide his rabbit regurgitation problems from her. You'd think there'd be rabbit shit everywhere, but... He even has a whole system worked out where when he feels like he's gonna throw one up, he ever so delicately describes the way he jams his fingers down his throat and feels the warm hair rising up like an antacid. It's... Quite a pleasant read, actually. It totally didn't make me want to puke up my own rabbit. But you know, they're so cute, so at the same time, he can't really get mad at them. He had planned on killing them, but you know, as soon as he saw that little face and those floppy ears, forget about it. He can't be responsible for killing something that fucking cute. One rabbit, he can handle. Two, three rabbits, maybe. But by the time he's up to ten, he's had it. He manages to hide the bunnies from his girlfriend's maid, who doesn't suspect that he's been puking up bunnies. I mean, I don't blame her for not thinking of it. But she probably thinks there's something a little... The bunnies sleep during the day, he lets them loose to run around the house at night, and prays to God that they don't destroy his girlfriend's ever-so-perfect house. I wonder what would happen if Andrea just woke up in the middle of the night. He didn't really think this through. The constant stress and fear that the bunnies will destroy Andrea's house, and, you know, the lovely act of constantly puking up bunnies, becomes too much for the narrator. And we find out that this whole letter was just a suicide note that he left for his girlfriend. Shit, that just got dark. There's probably some deeper meaning in this story, but Cortazar, if you wanted me to take this seriously, Maybe you shouldn't have went with puking up bunnies. I'm sorry, but it's just too funny. Maybe you should have went with puking up hedgehogs. 